And good morning. Welcome to Swap Shop. It is 9 o'clock. Let's go ahead and take our first caller here. Good morning. You're on the air. Good morning. Um, I have a New Hampshire red rooster to give away. He's a beautiful bird. He's a healthy bird. Um, and they can just call two. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good morning. You're on the air. Good morning. Love the show. Good. This is Dick Zanormous. I'm um, calling about the lady who was selling the rooster. Okay. Now, how, how big was the cock? She did not say. Would you like her phone number? Yeah, I'd like to know the weight on the cock as well and how big the cock was, please. Hmm. Now, that's a red cock or is that a black cock? You will have to ask her. I think it's a red one. Okay. Now, do you know the age on it? Because when they get old, they could get big. Good morning. You're on the air. Good morning and God bless. Hi. Hi. First off, I want to say it's a, it's a darn shame those rascals call me, and I want to say, you know, that that kind of stuff really makes me mad, and I, I hope they ca catch them fellas, you know. Okay, thank you. And I have an aquarium, but also I was wondering, uh, I'm interested in that guy's cock they called a little bit earlier. Is it a purple? Or... Good morning, you're on the air. You know, I want to say to those people, shame on you. <laughs> Shame on you. Thank you. Thanks for calling. Oh, my. Good morning. You're on the air. Hi, how are you doing? I have a, a donkey for sale. Okay. And um, I'd be willing to trade uh, my ass for that lady's cock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me talk to Joe really quick. Um, good morning, Joe. How are you doing today? Good morning, Kelsey. You're putting up with a bunch of stuff that you don't need to put up with on Swap Shop. You know, in the introduction, we talk about using good old common sense. Now is the time to exhibit that. Right. And we've had some calls this morning that have just crossed the line, yeah. and uh, we don't appreciate it. And that's all I want to say. All right. And that needs to stop. Well, there it is. You're listening to the Swap Shop. Time for some items in the mailbag this morning here. Selling brand new Planters Peanuts Pump. Perfect for this weekend's Super Bowl party. More trying to get him to say penis pump. Uh -huh. Sanitary than a bowl. Peanuts Pump attaches to any size platter to disperse peanuts at a handful at a time. That's what we need. I hear the radio station that peanuts pump. <laughs> uh, call Rusty at 74. <laughs> Rusty. Uh, this comes to us from Sam. Uh, for sale, the original uh, Mike Morales knob polisher. You know, oh, God. Mike Morales is high pitched. Oh. Michael works in the newsroom. We just came out of the closet. So they're selling a Mike Morales knob <laughs> polisher. <laughs> and he's fucking reading everything. Wait till you hear the next item. I have no idea what this thing is here. But anyway, here's the number. Call 63. <laughs> Happy 12th birthday to Tess Stickles from her parents, Rich and Sally Stickles. They love you very much, Tess Stickles. Oh, there you go. There's your birthdays and anniversaries. Uh, May 2010, your year. Those guys are like in their 40s. Push apart. I was out in the kitchen with a broom and a mop. I was listening to Shop and Swap. I thought I'd turn the volume up and get me a deal. Bart. Bart. Got a load of wood. Sure burns good. Got a load of wood. Hey, how are you today? Did you have a good weekend? <laughs> Big day today. Boy, good morning. You're on Swap and Shop. Good morning, Bart. How are you? I'm doing great. How about you? Oh, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I was just wondering, who sings that song about you? That's a cute little song there at the beginning. That's Charlie Pitts, the uh, singing barber here in town. Oh, that's well. You know what? I, I want my my grandson to hear that. Can you just play that again, real quick? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I, I can't play it right now, but we'll. I'm just uh, hoping you could play it again, real quick. Okay. Well, uh, let's see if we can get just a little bit of it here. Bart, the Mustang parts. I got a car. Car won't start. There you go, just a little taste of Charlie there. Why'd you stop it? We'll, we'll get more of it uh, maybe tomorrow. Go ahead and play the rest, pretty please. Can you play the, more of the song? <laughs> it had to, had to be his, uh, Charlie fixed for the day. It is a neat song, it really is. Good morning, you're on Swap and Shop. How are you today? Good morning, Bart. Good morning. I have to agree with that old lady. That is a great song. I tell you, it, it is amazing how people have remembered it uh, over the years. <laughs> you know, Bart, if you don't mind, I'd like to take a crack at that song. Okay. Okay. Bart, I got a ball from Tom Seaver. It smells like fish because it was stuck in my wife's beaver. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> good morning. You're on Swap and Shop. Bart? Yes. I got something for a sale. Okay. I got a washing machine and a garbage pail. Oh, fantastic. And we have some folks playing games with us today. <laughs> uh, they think it's funny to have our lines all tied up now. So uh, if you have a dial quickly and you'll beat them to their little game there. Yeah. Good morning. How are you today? Mark. Hey. Please play that song. Because when I hear your name, I stroke my slump. Uh, you're... you're <laughs> Continuing to call, and we're going to continue to hang up on you. Good. Uh, you go out and play in the traffic. Good morning. You're on Swap and Shop. Hello, Bart. Well, good morning. How are you today? <laughs> I'm selling seeds for your lawn. Seeds for my lawn. And an old buck plug. Selling what did you say? <laughs> With a bunch of gay porn. <laughs> okay. That is our uh, serious friend. Uh oh. Uh, they're calling in from Sirius Satellite. Uh -huh. I'm not sure why. Good morning. You're on Swap and Shop. Bart? Yes, sir. You got a deal you can't miss. I'm selling my grandpa's pants because they smell like piss. <laughs> wow. I tell you, I thought that was a real surprise. Boy, we have time for one more call, and that is you. You're on Swap and Shop. How are you today? Bart, what do you think of this cold? I think it's cold. Absolutely. I got three used quilts and two black dildos. Wow. Wow. Uh, that's the same. By the way, we do have your phone number and uh -oh. we do have some information about you and a uh -oh. uh, picture of you on the Internet, as a matter of fact. So <laughs> don't call again. And that's going to do it for our program today. We thank you for listening. Hope you have a super rest of the day. Mark, I got four ponies. I need to get rid of them. I've had them for sale for about four years now. <laughs> Welcome to Ron Swap Shop. Now, here's Mr. Swap Shop himself. Good morning to you. Uh, oh, I know. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to wake you up a little bit, fire up the neurons here. Okay, I'm going to give you a Scrabble word. A Scrabble right. word. This is a 12-letter word. I'm going to scramble it up. Okay, here we go. T-U-I-H-P-A-O-P. M S P O. Are this they is going to be a tough one. <laughs> Fire up those neurons. No. Twelve letter word. All right, let's go here. Good morning, you're on the swap shop. Good morning, Ron. It's Jerry from Downingtown. How are you? Good, Jerry. What's up? I like to solve that Scrabble uh, word. All right, you... give it a shot. Can you just quickly, if you don't mind, read off the letters real quick? All right, T U I B U T H. No, no. T T is in Thomas. Okay, now, that's not bees and boy. No, T is in Thomas. Okay, hold on, Tommy. Yeah. Thomas, T-O-M. T-O. No, the slow, no, let me let me give you the letters. Oh, okay, don't you give me the letters. Let me give you the letters. Okay, there's no B, but there's a T, Thomas. U-I. Y-O-U. Please. Let me do the letters. Okay, I'm sorry about that, but you're confusing me. While you're confusing me, let me, please be quiet. Let me give you the letters. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm sorry All about right. that. T is in Thomas. <laughs> good morning, you're on the Swap Shop. Good morning, Ron. It's Rusty in Downingtown. How are you? Hey, pretty good. What's up? Hey, can I take a Scrabble guess? Yeah, go ahead. Is it Bukaki? <laughs> That's not even a word. That's a Japanese style, uh, type of salty dish. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Okay, all right, let's go. It's not, that That's not, not it. it. That's not That's it, no. Good morning, you're on the Swap Shop. <laughs> Hi, I want to solve the puzzle. Yep. Hippopotamus? Yes, you got it. We got a legitimate caller for a change. Okay, take bye -bye. care. Bye-bye. And a good morning on the Swap Shop. Yeah, hi, Ron. I'd like to solve the uh, Scrabble. It's already been solved. Oh, my guess was Blumpkin. Was, what, well, was no, that, that wasn't it. No, sorry. I never said a B. Anyway, all right. Now, you might be wondering why I'm cutting some people off because the uh, the, the goofballs are on the line again. So that's why. So, I, you know, I can, I can smell them a mile away. So wow. that's why I'm cutting people off. All right. Good morning. I'm the Swap Shop. Ron, it's Jim from Downingtown. Yeah, right. Jim. What's up? Hey, was analingus, was that the word, the Scrabble word earlier? I didn't hear where she got it or not. Oh, man. Come on. Grow up, will you? <laughs> <sighs> Gee, this is really becoming a... 
Uh, this is like kind of uh, this. No. What are the screwballs all loose today? Is yes. that is that what's going on? Yes. What is it? All right. Good morning. You're on the swap shop. Good morning, Ron. Brian Phelan here from Downingtown. I have a guess on that Scrabble word. Would that be douchebag? Mm -hmm. Would that be it? Yeah, sure. That would be it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good Cyrus yeah. Radio. What is it? Cyrus. It's uh, what is it? Uh, what's the name again? Mm -hmm. All right. So we just found out it's coming out of the Howard Stern show. Hello. Hi. Hey. How are you? Fine. How are you? I'm wearing a Nago J. Huh? Are I've you? stoked through my depends. What? Yeah. Who are you? I'm Blue Iris. Am I making you hot? <laughs> what? I love a black cock. You go to hell, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Hello? I'm massaging my breasts. What? Why don't you fuck me? I fucked you with a shotgun. Oh, this is making me so hot. The bluebirds are building your ass before you get back to earth. You son of a bitch, and don't you call my goddamn number no more. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Hello? Can I put my finger in your ass? Can I put a 38 in your ass, you son of a bitch? Yeah. You need this goddamn rifle unloaded in you. You wouldn't call nobody and talk like that, you nasty mouth son of a bitch. Are you stroking your cock? No, I want to stroke yours. I'm going to take you down the creek and chop your goddamn head off of my machete and throw you in the creek, you son of a bitch, and throw your ass head at your damn dying ass, you nasty mouth, you old ugly, ignorant thing. I suck on your tits. I'd empty this goddamn 22 in you. You'd be a pretty looking son of a bitch. Look like a pin cushion. God, no. God. Are you crazy, son of a bitch? Nasty mouth, bastard. Chicken, can I help you? Uh, yeah, hi, how are you? What do you need? Um, my brother's gonna come down today. He's gonna make a big, big order, okay? What did he want? Just take down his name because it's a very, very big order. Do you have a pen handy? Go ahead. His name is Miter. What is it, Miter? It's spelled M I T U R, and his last name is B I N E S D E R T Y. <laughs> My turban is dirty? Your turban is dirty? Oh, f you, you mother. <laughs> 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 Can I help you? Uh, hello? Yes, yes, what can I get for you? Yeah, uh, is your chicken fresh? It's fresh. How many pieces do you need? Is your buffalo wing sauce spicy? Yes, it's spicy. What do you want? Yeah, is your turban dirty? <laughs> your mother is dirty, you piece of <laughs> <laughs> Chicken, how can I help you? Uh, hello? What do you need? Uh, is Mike there? Mike who? My turban is dirty. <laughs> if you have any questions for no gravity members, uh, call me up. Please don't call me with no foolishness. You know what I mean? This is real business here. They're doing big things, you know what I'm saying? Hello? Hey, what's going on, guys? What's going on? Hey, big no gravity fan here. All right. Okay. Hey, I got a question about the band. What? Sure. Can you suck your own cut? Yeah, hello. Yeah, what's up? How are you? How you doing? Can I tell you my favorite Matt Dillon story real briefly? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so the fact is what it sound like, uh, how was stirring them, you know what I'm saying, calling my soul or some stupidness. Hello? Yeah, but what I was wanting to say. 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 Yeah. And Mr. Howard Stern, if you care so much about... The inner city community, get over hugs for Harlem, man. All right. Hello? Hello? Yes? Hi. Hi, how you doing? How are you? I'm fine. How you doing? I love a black cock. Oh, please, ma'am. Get a life. <laughs> Look at these white, these white people calling my show. Look, they ain't got nothing else to do. Hello? Yeah, ma. What? They said back in uh, 1973, uh, you heard about how Bill Cosby was distributing the polio vaccine in Africa? Yeah. And and what happened was when he was doing that, he he, uh, he fucked a monkey and supposedly brother... All right. You know what I'm saying? They call and call with this stupid ass man. You know what I mean? Hello? I feel so terrible about this girl because... 
She doesn't deserve it. What's so terrible? It's just so terrible, and uh, <laughs> it's just <sighs> my problem is that I I goof around a lot, and I always I always goof first, not myself. What are you talking about? If it wasn't a goof, if I was fully serious, no the burden, and I was. People are crazy, man. You don't have anything else to do but call the Hugs for Hugs. What are you talking about? Of course, you're going to have the local, the, the, the town's idiots and the town fools calling my show. Thank you for watching me, though. Hello? Yo, what's up, Michael? What's going on? Bruce Tyler, I'm representing. Thank you, man, for calling me out. Show me love. Got a question for you. You ever fucked a fat chick? No, have you? Uh, I rebuke that spirit. Don't rebuke this spirit. That is truth. The spirit of truth. Hello? I don't want to lose your respect. You, you've, done, you've done so much for me. Oh, thank you. I'm not, I'm not a pedophile. I'm not a... I'm not a uh, and Carla, welcome to The Point. Hi, great show. Thanks. How are you? Good. What's your point? This is such a fascinating topic. Okay. Can I ask you a serious question? How big is your cock? That should be... Anyway, come on. Buddy. Anyway, um, don't call him with this nonsense, okay? Caller, welcome to the point. Hi, this is Hank. Hey, Hank, how are you? Believe it or not, I have some friends who are gay. Say what? No, forget. I don't think this should be any major rap stuff. All right. Okay, uh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say this for the last time. If you call with nonsense, we have caller ID. We will call you back. Okay. So if you want to continue calling in with nonsense, get a life. All right, all right. Here we are. One more. I'm gonna try. We're gonna try this again. Yeah, caller, welcome to the point. Why not? Hello, caller. <laughs> Next caller. <laughs> caller, welcome to the point. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Hank. Next call. Welcome to the point. Hi. Next caller. Caller, welcome <laughs> to the point. I enjoy this yeah, one. I love a black cock. Yeah. <laughs> caller, welcome to the point. Can I put my finger in? Yeah, hello. Oh, caller, welcome. Are you Next. Are your cock? Next. Next. <laughs> can, you, can you guys get rid of the call, please? Just get what that call. <laughs> we got to be the dumbest country in the universe. One, because we get these idiotic people thinking that this is a joke. Let's go to Richard, New York. Hello, Richard. Uh, hi, God bless. Hi, Richard. How can I help you tonight? Well, um, I've been living with my girlfriend for about two months now. Okay. And we are planning on getting married. Mm -hmm. And my question is about premarital sex. Okay. Uh, we haven't had sex yet. Okay. But I'm wondering... <laughs> Is, is it a sin for me to pump off when she's not around? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Sex is a gift from God between a man and a woman in the bonds of marriage. Sex is something you share with your wife. So she's not your wife. When you're involved in, in masturbation, you're dealing with <laughs> fantasies and you're dealing with all kinds of lustful things. That's why it's a sin, man. Let's go to the phones. Who am I talking with? Hi, this is uh, Father Pat Ophelia. And where are you calling from? I'm calling from New York. <laughs> Very good, Father. Appreciate you calling tonight. Praise God. Next call, please. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Your name, please. Uh, my name is Dick Bukaki. And Dick, where are you calling from, <laughs> sir? I'm calling from Ball Sack, Kentucky. <laughs> Watching Mind Like, the program designed to stimulate your thinking about life. We're talking today about holistic nutrition with my very special guest, a holistic nutritionist. And uh, we have a caller. Hello, caller. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. Oh, this is a great show. You know, I, I really find this fascinating, uh, this bullshit that you fuckers are spewing. It's hard. Um. Sometimes when you get someone that doesn't agree, um, uh, that, that we do believe that we don't discriminate with it, and it's okay to disagree with what we're saying. Um, so anyway, so um, we could talk about constipation mm -hmm. and, and what, what makes people, you basically consume raw 
Wrong. Hello. That's, hello. We have another call. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good evening. Yes. Hi. My name is Michael. Morales. Hi, Michael. Hi. Hello, Michael. Hello. How are you tonight? Good. Thanks. You have a question, Michael? Yes. Uh, I want to talk about how European diets has affected my health. Okay. I know you were discussing that. I have to tell you that to some degree I disagree. I went to Greece uh, just last month and my colon got so pounded up I couldn't shit for weeks and I actually gained 30 pounds. It took about 10 pounds of the old pool shoot. Yes. Um, yeah, I think, well, I think that um, a lot of people can't get over what they've been programmed to do mm -hmm. and probably this gentleman was like that you know um, uh, it's very hard to break away we have another caller hello caller yeah hi, good evening I was wondering you know how does diet affect cock size because I'm really girthy uh, if you've noticed flooding in any danger zones, uh, uh, give us a call. We'd be more than happy to put uh, put the information on for you. All right? Back to the phones. Good morning. You're on the swap shop. Morning, Ron. I got a road report for you. All right. I'm out. I'm out here at Creek Road in Hopewell. And you know what? It's a mess out. Yeah. You know what? Okay. Go ahead. Keep. I'm about ready to cut you off. I, I recognize the voice. Well, who? Well, All right. This keep is talking. Rick from Chester Springs. This is Rick. Yep, Rick from Chester Springs. I'm out here, and a, and a truck full of dildos spilled over in the storm. There's rubber peckers all over the road. It's amazing. <laughs> um, uh, never mind. Anyway, moving right along. Us, um... Good afternoon, and welcome to Telepsychic, and thank you for calling. Hello, Morris? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. I can barely hear you, Morris. Yeah? Okay, that better? Yeah. Okay. How are you today? Okay, and you? Oh, well, I'm actually a little worried. I got something going on in my life. I, uh, I'm actually getting ready to go to prison in about two weeks. And I was, uh, I was caught selling grass near a school. Uh huh. <laughs> Morris, am I going to get fucked in the ass in prison? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, let's go back to the phones. That, uh, that person who called? You are in deep trouble, okay? Uh, you're not going to get out of it within a month, two months, six months, five years, maybe, or ten years. Uh. You'll be out of it then, All right. if you keep your mind straight. But your mind is all screwed up and been screwed up since you were born, okay? So that's enough for you. Push it far.